What is going on guys? Chad here, and welcome to the first part of my Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 Spec Ops series. One thing you might not know about me is that I am not all about online multiplayer. And don't get me wrong, I love multiplayer, put tons of time into it, but I'm not one of those people that only buy Call of Duty and only play online multiplayer. I play a variety of games. When I get to Call of Duties, I go through the campaign, I go through whatever else it includes. This year it's Spec Ops. Uh, you know, I love it. I, I love putting time into other things as well, just because it's more relaxing. You're not always looking over your shoulder. You don't have to deal with people. And I enjoy it. You know, Call of Duty is probably not even my favorite game. Actually, it's not. I mean, I can tell you that right now. I loved Borderlands. That's probably my favorite game of all time. I love all the Elder Scrolls games. Um, you know, I had Oblivion for a long time. I'm going to get Skyrim. Uh, I love all the Fallout. Stuff like that. You guys know that, though. You, you've seen the stuff on my channel. It's obviously predominantly Call of Duty, but I still play a lot of other games, which leads me to the series that I'm doing. I'm going to uh, put up a short video of each Spec Ops mission for a couple reasons. First off, to help anyone that can't finish it on Harden. I'll give you some tips, some advice, maybe help you get through it, get those three stars that you need. And the other reason is, uh, if you guys have a channel, if you have a video of you getting a better score than me, put it as a video response, I'll accept it. Everyone can check those out, maybe give you a little bit of exposure. And if you don't have a channel and you don't record your gameplay, just kind of post your scores in the comment section and we'll see how everybody stacks up against each other. So anyways, let's get on with the first mission, Stay Sharp. Alright, so this one is pretty straightforward. I would swap out the ACR for the P99. If you go pistols only, you don't have to reload and right, you, uh, you can move forward as you're shooting. You move forward a lot faster. The one thing I did mess up with, and I think I could shave a few more tents off, is if I use the USB with the tack knife first, because you have to knife that target going up the steps. But, as you can see, if you don't miss any targets, you're not going to have to reload your pistol. You're going to swap after these two targets right here. And after that, you're like I said, you're not going to have to reload. You're going to have enough ammo to finish off the course. Bang, bang, bang. Finish it up by killing the last four inside. And that's going to give me 26.6 seconds with a score of 6,044. Can you beat it? 